Hello and thank you for tuning in. This is going to be the Diamond Multimedia install video for the GC2000. I'm a senior technician here at Diamond Multimedia. My name is Charlie and let's get started, shall we? So here we're going to go for a quick installation. And we're going to go under typical and click on install. Okay, and we're going to click start. This is going to start the installation for the driver software for the GC2000. Okay, so now that the GC2000 driver is installed, we're going to go ahead and click under OK. Now that you have the driver software installed, it's going to bring up the GameShare software installer. So you can go ahead and select your language and then click OK. And you're going to go ahead and select Next. And that's going to go ahead and start installing the GameShare software onto your computer. Now keep in mind, if you select a typical custom, it's going to attempt to install the .NET Framework 3.5. Now if you have 3.5 or higher, don't worry about it. It's just going to bring you a message right here saying that 3.5 or above is already installed. So you don't have to worry about that at all. So we're going to click on OK and move on to the next step, which is finish. And then we're going to restart the computer. Okay, and now once we've restarted the reboot of the computer, let's open up the GameShare software. Here's the GameShare window. We have our options Capture, Stream, Playback, and Settings. Now we're going to start with Capture. So we're going to go ahead and click under Game Console and click Load. Now here are the video settings. Now under source, we have the option of HDMI or YPB PR. I'll be using YPB PR at this point. Uh, video source will be, will be NA not available. Audio will be left and right because I'm using the YPB PR at this point. If I were to be using HDMI, the audio source would be HDMI as well. Now here we can go ahead and enable or disable the live commentary by clicking under the box. We can also select our microphone here, and here we have our audio settings for the mic. We always recommend leaving it at 5x5 five five for the best results. Now under the encoding window, we have the options of TS or MPEG-4, I'll be using MPEG-4 for this video, and under resolution, the device that I'm using, the highest it'll go is 720. But if you were to use a device that and have a setting resolution of uh, 1080p, it will be will become available in this window. Now under bitrate, you have the options between 1 through 18, but I'll be selecting at 3M at this point. Then I'll click OK and I'll say yes, I want to save the settings. And that'll take us straight to the capture window. Here's a brief overview of the settings. And now here you can press that green button, the green circle, to start the capture. You can press the camera to take a snapshot. And now we're going to go ahead and start recording. There it let us know that it's recording. And as long as you see that red flashing light, you're recording. You have a timer down at the bottom. And it also tells you how much space you have available on your hard drive. You can also mute the recording by pressing the speaker icon. So we've, gonna, we've already gone ahead and uh, pressed the green circle again to stop the recording. Click on the X to close it out. Here you can select PC game and load and that'll bring up the, the background settings as well of your PC. As you can see there are Windows logo. Now we're going to go ahead and go straight to stream. Okay, so we're going to select Game Console, then Load. And we already have a Twitch account set up. 
So there we are, website, Twitch, ID, password, and the server that we're going to connect to. So we're going to go ahead and hit connect at this point. And success it is successfully connected. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. We're going to go into the video settings, and we're going to go ahead and adjust these settings once again. So here we're going to enable our live commentary, select the microphone, adjust the volume, make sure that everything is set properly here, our source, our resolution, our bit rate. And we're going to hit OK. Yes, we want to save. And now this, similar to the capture window, this is a streaming window. Now, unlike the capture window, for stream, it's a globe with an arrow. So once we click on that, we're already streaming. And there it is, start streaming. And that familiar red circle. Now, as always, we can always mute the audio, take a snapshot, and to stop the recording, click on the globe with the arrow once again. And that'll stop the stream. So we'll go ahead and close this out now. And that brings us back to the game share window. Now, in case if you want to stream through Ustream, or if you have a custom streaming site that's not on the list, you can always go to custom RTMP, enter your username, uh, password, channel if you have one, uh, type in the website for the site that you want to stream to, and enter your stream key and hit connect, and that'll go ahead and connect you to that service and allow you to stream through it. Now, for playback, this will just go ahead and bring up any videos that you might have recorded with the GameShare software. So here it takes us directly to the uh, to the spot where we have a couple of our other videos saved. So if I were to go ahead and uh, double click on any of these, it would go ahead and bring up the videos. Also keep in mind this will open up with your default media player. Now here we go with the general settings. Under device it says Diamond GC2000. We have our language which is English. Now here we have our file path and our photo path. You can just go ahead and hit select and you can select whatever folder you'd like to save the videos in. We always recommend that it's a, a folder or location that you can get to quite easily. And the same thing with the photo path. Now here we have the option of backup while streaming. This means that it'll record a video to your hard drive as you're streaming as well. Because when you stream it doesn't record the video to your hard drive unless you click that button. Now here we have our shortcuts, so you can hit Control and F8 to start or stop a recording. Uh, Control and F9 for a short for a snapshot. Uh, for the information or the brief summary, you can click Control and F10. To increase or decrease the volume, you can click Control F11 or F12. So we're going to go ahead and close this out here. And in case if you have any questions or if you want to go ahead and get in contact with us, you can always go to our website, which is diamondmm.com. You can go to Diamond Support and click on where it says Contact Diamond. And that'll take you into our ticket system where you can go ahead and open up a ticket and I, or one of my other technicians, will be more than happy to assist you with any problems, questions that you might have with any of our products.